All right, so let's see this one. You are up to an A and E. Patient is Germain, age 40. Present to the hospital complaining of back pain. So this is a patient of back pain. Uh, talk to the patient, assess. So what happened? I'll give you a scenario, a hypothetical scenario that you can find in any of the OSC exam. Back pain, this patient is saying, I've got for uh, last one day. And I was working in a factory. I was moving heavy objects. And suddenly I started having this back pain. This patient is not having any other past medical illness. This patient is not having any uh, general sign symptom of cancer. This patient is not having any hypertension that we are thinking it's triple A, nothing like that as well. So this patient is not having any osteoporosis sign symptoms as well and no risk factor for osteoporosis. And uh, yes, this patient was just moving heavy objects. So this look like disc prolapse. So this station is about disc prolapse. Let's discuss about more about disc prolapse and of course uh, quad equina, which is one of the very important complication of disc prolapse that we cannot we cannot afford to miss. Right. So let's have a look both of them together. So what will be having lower back pain? That's true. Numbness or tingling in the legs or feet. Even patient will might be saying like, doctor, I've got this feeling of numbness till my greater toe. Right. And muscle and problems bending or straightening your back and muscle weakness. So mainly this lower back pain with numbness and tingling in the legs and feet. That is really, really important in disc prolapse. Right. So how we will be ruling out the complication which is called equina so you need to ask some extra questions as well like uh, lower back pain is there if patient has got bowel problem meaning constipation that's important urine retention even urine incontinence both are important a patient has got a urine incontinence or patient has got a urine retention that is a quad equina if patient has got sexual problem like impotence and numbness in the saddle area numbness in the perianal area patient is not able to feel anything there and uh, because of that, sometimes patient is able to, I mean, they have got inc incontinence of the stools as well. So if patient has got any of these symptoms of quad equina, it's a neurosurgical emergency. We need to treat the patient there and then. So if you've got a case of disc prolapse, you're asking the question for quad equina. So if it is quad equina, surgical emergency. If it is not quad equina, we can send the patient home. You'll see. And uh, but, but make sure we are giving warning sign or safety netting for quad equina for sure. Right. So differential will be sciatica. Sciatica is also like uh, patient will be having uh, radiation of the pain in the lower limb. But in sciatica, you will see patient will be having numbness in the uh, buttocks as well. Right. Numbness in the buttocks and numbness in the legs. That is your sciatica. Quad equina. Yes. So that's one of the complication of disc prolapse. Trauma. We have to see if it is simple sprain or not. But if it is simple sprain, you won't be having uh, pain which is radiating to your lower limbs. And of course, infections and trauma and uh, uh, cancer but very acute history doesn't look like cancer right so that's your differential diagnosis so how we do investigation how we do the treatment so general physical vitals abdominal and we definitely have to do straight leg test if straight leg is positive that is disc prolapse simply we tell the patient to lie down on the couch and we try to lift the leg and after a certain point of time usually at 45 degree after that if we are uh, uh, straightening the leg patient will feel pain in the back and which is uh, very very much uh, important in case of uh, disc prolapse that's pathognomic of disc prolapse straight leg uh, test positive intervertebral intervertebral disc prolapse right and in case of investigation full blood count that is what we do and if you're thinking any infection is there so we can do urine dipstick as well but in case of quad equina if you have got any of the symptoms we have to do mri straight away MRI straight away. Myelography and CT are also sometimes used. Your dynamic studies, maybe patient has got problem with the urine, but MRI is must. In simple disc prolapse, no need to do MRI. No need to do MRI. Uh, it's simple X-ray you can do. That's more than enough X-ray. But if patient symptoms are not improving within six weeks time, it's taking more time. We may consider doing MRI. Simple doing x-ray, general physical examination, full blood count, we are doing urine dipstick, an x-ray of the back can be done. And no need to do MRI, just to give uh, general advices to the patient and how to do the treatment, like we can give you some painkillers, take a bit of rest, 
and also like take some uh, maybe ice wrap it in a towel put it in your bag for some times and later on you can do some uh, hot compression as well we can refer it to the physiotherapist as well and slowly slowly you can just come up to your daily activities but don't exert too much that's something you have to tell and mri won't be doing straight away it will be done if patient is uh, not getting relieved uh, from the pain and uh, and we feel it's it's too much time now like say six weeks then we can opt for an mri otherwise if it is called equina mri is done in emergency straight away we will be doing an mri and then the neurosurgical referral and urgent surgical decompression we have to do right so that is must 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 so urgent neuros surgical decompression surgery we have to do and of course we can give some painkillers and inflammatory agents and occupational therapist and physiotherapist review when patient is called equina even in disc prolapse it's always better to mention occupational therapist because patient got this problem when he was moving heavy objects so it might not be very safe for him to continue with that thing so maybe we can uh, talk to the occupational therapist and maybe we can make some changes in the job that patient is doing maybe instead of uh, moving heavy objects he can uh, get a job where he is doing a sitting job is sitting not doing too much of uh, heavy jobs or maybe the employer will give him sitting job for time being at least for few months and then he can come back to his original work once he has uh, recovered completely from uh, the disc prolapse right and of course physiotherapist they are required because after surgery patient needs a physiotherapist uh, so that he can come up to his uh, daily routine activities right so if it is disc prolapse make sure you never forget to give the warning sign for quad equina and if it is quad equina make sure you treat it there and then emergency neurosurgical decompression surgery otherwise patient can have irreversible neurological damages right so this is intervertebral disc prolapse or quad equina thank you